how we got here. Not in our bedroom, but here. We were doing the cooking show. We haven't posted a video in a couple weeks. I've spoken to a couple people and people were like, hey, you guys don't do the videos anymore. We really like seeing you and your wife. But they don't really like watching the cooking shows. And we saw viewership go from like 121 all the way down to like I think 35 people watched the last one. And they are a lot of work. So much. So much. A lot of mess. Three, four, five, six hours of cooking and cleaning and taking pictures and making videos and editing. And nobody's watching. So we kind of came to the conclusion that maybe people like us better than the cooking shows. So we still cook and we still share the pictures. But now we're going to try this. We're going to call this The Adventures of Michael. And this is Steve. And this is our pilot episode. So we're going to tell you a little bit about us. Because some of you might not. Me first? Why not? Ladies okay. first. Um, I mean, I'm a mom. So that takes up a lot of time. Four kids, full-time job, I'm a nurse, I work at a hospital. It is crazy. Pandemic. Yeah. And that's really, that's what I do when I hang out with this guy. I'm pretty cool. I eat hot dogs, I'm the ball nine food guy. I post a bunch of stuff on uh, the timeline about pick this, you get two, look at this hot dog I ate, read this article. But we've also noticed that everybody's starting to like put out the same stuff we are eating stuff videos and that's cool we like it we love the participation it also told us hey it's time to adapt and do some new stuff so we started doing the apple thing and that's going to be hard because we found i'm my, already tired of apples we just say that i'm not tired of <laughs> apples i just we i found we found nine apples i'm saying maybe we get 20 before we're going to need your help we are going to eventually need people to send us apples and hopefully you do I've tagged Angry Orchard and tried to get them to help us. We'll see. Who knows? We have dogs. We're dog people. Yes. That's Bugsy. Truffles on the floor. We took her squeaky cookie away so we could film this. <laughs> so she's just going to stare at the thing the entire time. Bugsy is over there because he thinks there's food on the table. He's just going <laughs> to stare over there. There's not, but he thinks there is. Um, let's see. What else? Should we tell stories? We can tell some stories. I had an interesting day today. I had my first... Maybe my first Me Too uh, experience. We're Probably not, make, not. We're not making light of it, but I was out on my morning run, shirtless, and I was going through an intersection, and somebody just started banging on the horn. And I'm like, what? I, you know, I was through. There was no cars there. And I take my earbud out, and I look, and it's like a little high school girl, whatever you're going. She's like, you're hot! And that was it. And I was so offended. Like, Were you offended? I'm so offended. I've never been so offended in my life. Um, and now I... No, I wasn't offended. It's actually... When you get old like me, you're like... Pray for these moments. Yeah! Every <laughs> once in a while, somebody throws you a bone. Uh, not too bad. Um, <laughs> so this is, what, what do you call it? Is it like a vlog or a podcast? Or like a pot... Did I get hot dog on my shoulder? He's licking it. <laughs> No. Well, as soon as the other one finds out, there'll be two dogs there. Pike is going to do the thing. <laughs> um, what else can we talk about? We're going to talk about food. We have a couple controversial takes that we want to talk about uh, today. One of which is what foods are acceptable to eat cold. Uh, I eat cold pasta, and when I say cold, I mean I get it out of the fridge, baked ziti, spaghetti, whatever. I put a fork in the Tupperware, and I eat it ice cold but you grew up like that too like i that did was, that's that was normal in we our did not. family so um that's what that's what people did you ate cold pasta so i eat cold pasta sarah does not i also eat cold pizza i don't think it's Ugh. better that way but i'll eat it i think that's just i went to college and got drunk and you would eat pizza off your couch if you found it a cup you know just that's college pizza so cold pizza is a thing it's definitely not better that way but i eat it cold um dry cereal Somebody here. Well, it's, we've done this before. We've done like a poll and stuff because I think our kids are cereal killers because they eat cereal without milk. Not all I, of them. Two. Yeah. Two of four. And Sarah, no milk. Me, milk. I feel like cereal just, is something that you just have to put in cereal. They go together. It's like... I don't agree. We'll have to see what you guys think. <laughs> um, moving forward, we don't know what this is going to be. We hope that people watch this week's episode... And then they want to know things about us that they don't. And then they ask put... Ask questions. Ask questions in the comments. Let us answer your questions. We know things about dogs, food, baseball, kids, 
Long distance relationships, mm -hmm. apples, some other stuff. Sexual harassment when you're out on your morning run. <laughs> the um, gym. The gym. Oh, the should I tell the gym story? <laughs> So look, I, everybody knows I've been pretty vocal. Like when it comes to pandemic, I'm kind of on the fence. Not my, my wife will tell you that she's very, she takes it very seriously. And I don't take it as People serious. Die. But today at the gym, this hulking, like six foot five, two hundred forty pound, steroided out, muscly piece of shit sweating he was like 50 years old comes up to me as i just start working out on a, on a piece of equipment and says i was working out there and i'm like looking out here there's there was one weight on one side and nothing on the other that was it there's no way so i was like hey you know you're working out here and he's like well i was here and I, but i had to go talk to my friends and i said okay well you then you weren't working out here so he said he goes well i was gonna work out here and i said well now i'm gonna work out here because i'm here already and he goes, well, we'll just work in together. And that's when I'm like, I said, absolutely not. And he's like, what do you mean? Gym etiquette. There's no way. I said, and this is where I get real pandemic. I said, I said, look, we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm not sharing this equipment. He was sweating. It's like when you play uh, basketball and it's shirts and skins and in the middle of the summer and somebody hits you with their body and it's all sweaty. You just want to fucking vomit right there. This, this guy was just sweating through his shirt, sweating everywhere, and we're going to go back and forth and share the same bench? It's a different world now. It's not in a pandemic. And I told him, look at those people in face masks. We're not sharing the bench. You go talk to your friends. I'm going to finish my set. And then when you come back, I'll wipe it down for you. That was my gym story with the old roided out Hulk. Gross. That was pretty gross. There's, we're in a pandemic, people. Wear a mask. Take it seriously. Don't share gym equipment. Some of you finally get to, I saw some people get to actually wear, uh, go to the gym today up in New York, I think they opened. Um, what else? We're gonna eat stuff. We found some stuff that we're gonna eat. Um, maybe we'll eat some stuff right now. What do we got? So we have friends um, at <clears throat> this place. This is called- uh, Chocolate they, Storybook. Chocolate Storybook. We have friends there. You and... probably remember we did some challenges of cotton candy. Yeah, we did videos with Stacy, Jake, our kids, my brother-in-law, his sister. I got this stuff for my birthday. Well, they saw the videos and they sent us some more stuff. And we're going to try one today, so. What is it? What we got? Ketchup and french fries. I love french fries. I am a french fry connoisseur, but I... And I eat ketchup on french fries? I don't know. It doesn't... It doesn't smell like ketchup hey. and french fries. Mm -mm. Truffle? No. And it's, okay, so. Oh, it's you have, layered. You have to see, yeah, it's pink and it's yellow. So this looks, looks like pink. all French fry. So I think we need to get a little bit. So here you go. Here's some ketchup and French fry. Okay. I'm going to do some ketchup and French fry. We're going to go in this together. Cheers. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Did it fall out of your mouth? <laughs> it's not good. I wonder if the dogs will eat it. You want some ketchup and french fries? She will eat anything, literally. Except this! Look! <laughs> She's really sniffing it. This might be the first thing this dog has never... And she has declined. <laughs> no thanks, Dad. <laughs> I'm gonna hard pass on this, so... Wow. Will you eat this? He'll try it. He's braver. Um, he's spinning on the floor. He's not eating it. So. Kind of like you. Oh my God. Mm. I can't even describe that flavor. It's not ketchup and french fries. It's. I thought at first like berry. Yeah, there's like, still uh... like cotton candy in there. So there's a sweetness. I just don't know. I don't like it. I know that. What else are we going to try tonight? I got to get that taste out of my mouth. <laughs> we have one more. Oh, we found one of the Lay's. Uh, the Philly cheesesteak, Gino's. I've actually been here. I grew up in uh, South Jersey, so I was maybe like 40 minutes from Philly. Um, you could be a Pat's guy, Truffle. Or you could be a Gino's guy. I don't really think it matters. I think there's actually better cheesesteaks in Philly than Pat's and Gino's. Though they are iconic and you people do talk about them, so... It smells like kind of barbecue-ish. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, that's done. I would eat that. Kind of like cheddar and sour cream. Yeah. Too. It's not. It's not life changing. It's definitely not going to change your world. It doesn't taste like a cheese steak. And September tenth. And we got it just in these, time. Um, let's see what it says. Inspired by the dish that made Gino Steaks a Philadelphia icon, here's a taste of their Philly cheesesteak. There is also um, some other ones, but we'll see if we can find them. We had some popcorn this week that was really good. Uh-uh. No, the fire one, the hot one. I don't like the fire. It was oh. so hot. Yeah, but you like the Captain Crunch off. one. It was better. It was flaming hot popcorn. We did a video. It, I mean, it was Good, but it just burned my face off. So <laughs> when she sneezes on the back of my neck, there's nothing sexier than a pug just snotting all over the back of your head while you're trying to make you your podcast mm -hmm. vlog. So. This is us. We don't know where it's going to go. Yeah, we don't know where it's going to go. And we hope that when we post this, you guys watch it and you go, you know what? We like the food videos. And we're still going to cook. We're just not going to put all that effort into it if you guys aren't going to cook the food or watch the videos. We might never do this again if nobody watches the video. We'll see. Um, but we do tell you, like, put some comments. Ask us some questions. We're going to continue to do the apple thing. We're going to continue to do the ball nine thing and be nurses and cook stuff. It's just who we are. Uh, why don't you tell our beach story today? We had the best day ever. This is how we're going to close oh out gosh. the first episode of The Adventures of Michael and Sarah. We had the best day ever. And we posted some pictures, but we didn't tell the whole story because we left our phones in the car. So we live near the beach, so we just kind of go whenever we have time. At least once a week. So we packed all our stuff up, and we're headed to the beach, but there's a lot of rain clouds out. So we get there, and we see the rain is coming. So we're like, maybe let's leave all our stuff in the car and we'll just go take a walk. And then if you need to come back to the car, we can come back to the car. So we go, we don't have shoes or anything. All we have literally is keys. And we're walking down the beach and it starts to rain. And the beach that we go to, it doesn't have a whole lot of people that go to it. So, <laughs> so we're walking down the beach and it starts to rain. It feels like... Needles. needles like it is hitting pins and needles it is raining so hard and mind you there's two big storms a tropical storm a hurricane in the gulf so we live on the west coast of florida you never get waves the water is usually flat like a lake so there's some waves and <clears throat> i'm stealing your story okay. and we went in the water while it's pouring rain big waves and just i mean we were in there holding on to our keys and we were there's no our hats holding on to our hats and <laughs> There was no one on. Everybody left. We had the entire beach as far as the eye could see to ourselves. Did you say we went out to the water in the water? Yeah, we, yeah, were in the we water. went in the water. It Splashing was crazy. In the waves. Couldn't see anything. There was like made out a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and then we got to walk back on an empty beach, and it was amazing. And then by the time we got back to where we parked, the sun came out. We got our chairs, our snacks. And we hung out at the beach for a couple hours. It was the best day. This dog will not move as long as that bag of chips is on the counter. She will, <laughs> she'll, she'll die on that hill. And she'll make it look like she hasn't eaten in weeks, too. Truffle pig. Help the poor. Help arms for the poor. <laughs> so, we don't know where we go from here. Um, this is our first episode. Probably no one's watching it because Hendo told everybody to unfollow me this week. I think you unfollowed me. Everybody... <laughs> Tried to unfollow myself. Um, I can't. Can't. Can't even do that. And then we'll see where it goes. We'll see. We have fun together. You know, there's some couples. We love the other couples on, on there. And we might have them on as guests. Um, we might. We always do meetups. We've met a bunch of people. So we might meet some guys and do an episode together. We might talk about baseball. We might watch a baseball game. We don't know. We don't know. We know this is our first episode. And we're going to give you 15 minutes of content. And if you like it. We'll give you another one next week. And then we'll go from there. So watch this. Leave us questions in the comments. Enjoy the rest of your night. That's all I got. <laughs> it didn't stop. It's I found it. It's still going. <laughs>